before this we should have brought in the if statement so if in parentheses uh, transform transform dot local scale that x is lesser than uh, our maximum growth so max growth pretty much what it's saying here is make sure that tree does not exceed the maximum growth okay and if in that case then if the tree also is also is saying that if tree is lesser than maximum growth all right uh, apply not this but apply or do something uh, keep increasing the uh, 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 vectors of that uh, object so I'm gonna put this inside the bracket I'm um, inside the uh, not the bracket but uh, inside the braces here Okay, and what I found out here that took me a while to figure this out, since we uh, referenced the time scale to vector, we also before the if statement we have to bring the uh, bring in the uh, we had to call on the vector by typing temp scale is equal to transform that local scale now this this is to me this is a little confusing uh, when I research to how to uh, transform uh, uh, JavaScript into a C sharp where in uh, JavaScript you only have pretty much one line of code pretty much well two lines of code saying uh, okay uh, if the uh, tree did not exceed its maximum growth keep applying that vector uh, by point zero one point zero one point zero one or uh, the x y and z axis of that vector keep applying to it until it it reaches that maximum um, scale okay and plus uh, time it by time delta time time it by the growth time which is zero point one we're in uh, C sharp, it's a little, little more. To me, it's a little more complex than in JavaScript. I find JavaScript uh, to be easy to understand, easier to understand than uh, uh, C sharp. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, again, I I learned both of the languages, so it, it is it, it is interesting to figure these things out how to do them. Well here what I figured is you if you're a, a good of a programmer you'll 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 you'll, you'll learn that uh, I, I'm very new to this C shop this is what I did to make this work for me is I did temp scale all right uh, dot X plus equal the uh, 
speed growth. So speed growth semicolon. Now I couldn't figure out in C sharp how to make a vector x, y, and z axis in the same line of code. So what I did is pretty much copied this line of code. All right, copied it, paste it, and change the x axis to y axis. All right, paste another line of code, the same one. Again, change the x-axis to the z-axis. All right. And save it. And my motto is, in programming, if it works, there's no need to change it unless you want it to look you know, nicer. But to me, this, this is what I understand. This is how this is how I'm gonna you know understand what stuff does. So what does what these three lines of code do is they're pretty much saying okay if the scale of the object is not maximum yet, therefore apply um, apply the growth to that scale. Of that object and apply it to the x-axis x-axis is this is your x-axis uh, horizontal then apply y-axis y-axis is vertical all right and then apply the z-axis which is the thickness all right of the of that object now if you only apply the if you only had this one line of code what would happen is if you hit play the tree would only grow and and and, and uh, uh, vertical it's gonna be a vertical tree it's not gonna be a horizontal and it won't will not have thickness to it either so that is how I figured that out I know oh, there are ways to do this in a simple way, but I haven't figured it out yet. So, so far it's good to me. That that's good. So, let's see it and if it works. Um, let's find it now. Okay, tree. Find a tree. Grab the C sharp file. Drop it onto the inspector. Uh, max growth is one. Speed go. Uh, speed growth is point one. Hit play. And as you saw, that tree grew really fast. It's really big. All right. So we need to change that. We can change that inside the inspector. We I don't have to go back to the uh, uh, the uh, C sharp file. I just change it here. Uh, point 0.3 for the max growth and for the uh, speed growth I'll have uh, I'll have this number even smaller two zeros let's see if that is gonna fix our problem uh, it's still going too fast but that's okay I'm just gonna add another zero here in a speed growth and save it that's good enough for that all right so we're done with the <coughs> with the uh, growing tree uh, uh, C sharp file next file will be called a chopping tree or a, a cutting tree so create a new C sharp file, call it cutting tree. 